Hi everyone, how are you doing? Today channel Dan Shreyan is going to present you about present perfect tense. The present perfect tense is a rather important tense in English, but it gives speakers of some languages a difficult time. That is because it uses concepts or ideas that do not exist in those languages. In fact, the structure of the present perfect is very simple. The problems come with the use of the tense. In addition, there are some differences in usage between British and American English. The present perfect tense is really a very interesting tense, and a very useful one. Try not to translate the present perfect into your language. Just try to accept the concepts of this tense and learn to think present perfect. You will soon learn to like the present perfect tense. How do we make the present perfect tense? The structure of the present perfect is 1. Positive sentence Form Subject plus have or has plus verb past participle plus object. The auxiliary verb have is conjugated in the present simple have or has. The main verb is invariable in past participle form, et or irregular. For example, I've worked as a teacher of English for five years. She's bought her flat since 2010. 2. Negative sentence. Form. Subject plus have or has plus not plus verb past participle plus object. For negative sentences we insert not between the auxiliary verb and the main verb. For example, I haven't worked as a teacher of English for five years. She hasn't bought her flat since 2010. 3. Question sentence. Form. Have or has plus subject plus verb past participle plus object. For question sentences, we exchange the subject and the auxiliary verb. For example, have you worked as a teacher of English for five years? Has she bought her flat since 2010? How do we use the present perfect tense? This tense is called the present perfect tense. There is always a connection with the past and with the present. We use the present perfect to talk about 1. Experience 2. Change and 3. Continuing situation Present perfect for experience We often use the present perfect to talk about experience from the past. We are not interested in when you did something. We only want to know if you did it. For example, I have seen an alien. He has lived in Bangkok. Have you been there? We have never eaten caviar. Present perfect for change. We also use the present perfect to talk about a change, or new information. For example, I have bought a car. John has broken his leg. Has the price gone up? The police have arrested the killer. Note, Americans do use the present perfect but less than British speakers. Americans often use the past simple tense instead. An American might say, did you have lunch? Where a British person would say, have you had lunch? Present perfect for continuing situation. We often use the present perfect to talk about a continuing situation. This is a state that started in the past and continues in the present and will probably continue into the future. This is a situation, not an action. We usually use for or since with this structure. For example, I have worked here since June. He has been ill for two days. How long have you known Tara for? For and since with present perfect tense. We often use for and since with perfect tenses. We use for to talk about a period of time, five minutes, two weeks, six years. We use since to talk about a point in past time, nine o'clock, the first of January, Monday. Look at these example sentences using for and since with the present perfect tense. I have been here for 20 minutes. I have been here since nine o'clock. John hasn't called for six months. John hasn't called since February. He has worked in New York for a long time. He has worked in New York since he left school. Note, for can be used with all tenses. Since is usually used with perfect tenses only. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe, like and share to channel Dan Shreyan in order to get more videos. Thank you.